Nick Artigo here. I'm going to show you a drill that I like to use to develop a proper cadence while running. If you develop a proper cadence, a lot of other things fall into place. Like your foot hits the ground directly below your center of gravity. You tend to forefoot and midfoot strike rather than heel strike. You tend to lower impact force. You tend to lower your um, incidence of injury. You also can go faster with less energy, being more efficient because you take advantage of the elasticity of your tissues, of your fascia, and of your tendons. Every time the foot hits the ground, there's a stretch on the elastic components of our tissues, the fascia, tendons, and connective tissue and whatnot. And if we time our push-off, our steps, with the recoil of elastic energy, we are more efficient. And that just doesn't happen as well when you have a lower cadence like 120, 130, or 140, or 150 steps per minute. At about 180 steps per minute is where you get that recoil. That 180 number is just a starting point. Your optimal may be a little higher or lower than that. But it's a good starting point for practice. The way I like to practice it though is with a metronome. I use my smartphone, download a metronome. You can also just use an old school type of metronome like musicians use. And I set that metronome at 180 beats per minute. And it sounds like this. So I may be carrying it, I may be carrying it while I run, or I just have it going as I jog in place. But before jogging in place, I just get to where I'm used to stepping in that timing. I like this. wiring that timing into my nervous system. Then from there I'll start doing like a little jogging in place drill. I can also pick up the phone, pick up the metronome, and actually run. So give that a shot. Let me know if you found any benefit from it. Leave a comment below. If you'd like to get more content that's not available on the blog or the regular YouTube channel, click the link that's connected to this video and you'll have a chance to do that. Thank you.